Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Ellie, I am a mum and a blogger, hence the baby themed video that I'm about to do. So I had my second baby 10 weeks ago and I have really learnt so much more this time round. And there are some things, some little hacks that I have learnt this time round that I cannot believe I didn't know with my first son. Like, mind blown. So I've written down all of my best life-saving, life-changing newborn baby hacks for you. And I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna share them with you. My best one, and the one that I was like, how did I not know this? I've saved for last, so you'll have to stay till the end of the video if you wanna hear that one. Okay, so my first tip hack that I'm gonna share with you is more of a storage hack, which is to store your baby's clothes using the Marie Kondo technique. So basically you fold and roll your baby's baby grows, vests, everything, as you can see that I'm doing here, and you put the rolled garment into the drawer. So this means you can clearly see everything that you've got in the drawer, nothing is stashed underneath. Nothing is hidden underneath something else so you can see what you've got. No clothes get wasted and also it keeps them nice and crease free I find as well. Okay tip number two is a nappy changing tip especially if you have a boy. <laughs> now I don't know if this is true of boys and girls but particularly with boys when you change their nappy this is just for any first time mums out there who might not know this. When you change their nappy when the cold air hits them they can automatically do a wee. So one thing I've been doing, because my son is quite prone to doing this, is I place the new nappy underneath the old nappy before I whip the old nappy away. That way, if there is any surprise little fountain, it doesn't matter, because the new nappy is already in place. This is the old nappy, pop the new nappy underneath, whip that one away, and there's some protection there, just in case. Okay, tip number three is to really invest your time and money, not that they're expensive, in nappy caddies. I think I spoke about these in my newborn essentials video. So basically what I mean by this is I'll show you here. It's a little basket where you can store nappies, muslins, wipes, nappy bags, dummies, phone charger, I mean whatever you need basically. And obviously they have handles so you can easily pick them up and carry them around. But what I would really advise, my real tip for you here, is to get a few any room where you spend a lot of time and where baby is going to be during the day put a nappy caddy in there so I have three nappy caddies I have one in my living room I have one in my kitchen and I have one in my bedroom that way I am never having to leave the room to go and get a nappy or wipes or bum cream whatever it might be because every nappy caddy is topped up I top them up maybe once a week and that way everything is within reach, no matter what room I'm in. Okay, this is a really good hack for you. And my goodness, do you need this when you have baby brain? Baby brain is a killer. Okay, so your baby's little red book. If you are pregnant and a first time mum, what I mean by this is when your baby is born, they are get given a little red book. This is like their Bible. You have to take it to every appointment, every time you go. For years as well, like till they're, I can't remember what age, but for quite a while, you really need this red book. And I have a terrible habit of going out and forgetting my red book. So my tip for you is to store your red book in the glove compartment of your car. That way it's in there all the time. You don't need to worry the night before if you've got an appointment. You don't need to worry when you're packing your bag in the morning. It's already in the car. Breathe. You're organized. Okay, my next tip is to invest in some white noise. So there is a few ways you can do this. I use a white noise app on my phone. There are millions of white noise apps that you can buy on App Store. You can buy a white noise machine or there are also some toys that play white noise through the toy as well. And actually my baby monitor here, which is a lollipop baby monitor, plays white noise through the camera. I mean, it is wondrous. You know why it works, because basically it's mimicking that white noise that they heard when they were in the womb. They love it. If Cooper, and it was the same with my first son, if he's ever restless and just struggling to get off, the white noise just calms him completely. So there's a few ways to do it, but just make sure that you have it on you. Okay, this next hack, I actually, I actually found this out with my first son, but I can't believe how many people still don't know about this. People that I've spoke to, other mums obviously that I've talked to who don't realise this hack. Okay, so have you ever noticed those little funny like fold over slits on the top of your baby's vest? So they are there for a reason. They are there so that you can pull the vest over your baby's shoulders and pull the vest down their body. If you're a first time mum, you might be wondering why on earth you would want to do that. 
The reason is, is that if they have an explosive nappy, which will happen, obviously it can get on the vest. You do not want to pull that poo covered vest over your precious baby's head. So this is where it comes in handy. You can just widen those little flaps and you can pull the vest down their body and that way nothing needs to go over their head. Again, this is, so my next tip is another one that I learned with my first son. But again, like I just said in that one, I can't believe how many people I have spoken to who do not know about this. There is a little line in the middle of your baby's nappy. You might be wondering what that line is. Perhaps you've never even noticed that there's a line in the middle of the nappy, but it took me months with my first son to actually realize that that is a wetness indicator. So the nappy, the line will always start yellow. If it's blue, that means that the nappy's wet. It's just a really handy way for you to just have a quick look and see if the nappy needs changing or not. Okay, this one worked so so well with my first baby. I haven't had to use it yet with Cooper because I haven't had a full night away from him yet. But if your baby struggles to get off at night and they really want to be close to you at all times or if you're having a night away from your baby and you're feeling a bit nervous, this can work wonders. So what I used to do with my first baby is every time I would change my pajama top, so I'd wear a pajama top for maybe two, three nights, and then instead of putting it in the washing basket, I would line my baby's crib with it like a sheet. So because I've worn it for a few nights already, it obviously really smells of me and it's completely safe because obviously it's just a t-shirt and I've put, tucked it in safely like you would a sheet. But the benefit is, is it really smells of you. So yeah, with my first baby, it used to really settle him if I wasn't at home or if he was in a mood where he just wanted to be on me all the time. So do not put that dirty pajama top in the washing basket line your crib with it and you can thank me later. I love this one. This is by far my favorite one. This is one that I have only started doing with Cooper. So I didn't do this with Leo, but my God, do I wish I did. And it just seems so obvious. I'm like, why didn't I do this? It is to put a just in case bag in your car. So let me explain to you what a just in case bag is. There will be many times in your parenting life that you are caught out and about and you have forgotten something that you really, really need, or you have run out of something that you really, really need. So that is what your just-in-case bag is. Look who's come to join us. Someone will not sleep today. Absolutely not interested in sleep today. So he'll join us for the end. So yeah, the just-in-case bag. I'll tell you what I've got in mine, but obviously everyone's might be different. But in mine, I've got a bottle of ready-to-feed formula. I've got a change of clothes. Make sure you update your change of clothes, you know, every month or so, because obviously when your baby grows, you'll need to update the change of clothes. Spare nappies. There is nothing worse than running out of nappies in your nappy bag. Same with wipes, spare wipe. Also, if your baby has a dummy, a spare dummy as well, just have a little think. What are those things that you just couldn't do without on a day out? And they need to go in your just in case bag. Okay, so my last one, and this is the one that I cannot believe I have had two children without knowing this. But if you have a look at this nappy here, there are these two little indicator lines on the nappy. I've never paid any attention to them before. I just thought they were part of the pattern or something. These are actually size indicators. When you do your baby's nappy up, the elastic, the sticky bit, should be able to reach those lines. If it cannot reach that line, then your baby needs to go up a size in their nappy. <laughs> mind blown i cannot believe i didn't know that so obviously when i found that out i check coopers and um yeah he can reach the line comfortably but if you do them up and they don't reach that line that nappy does not fit so there you go there are my favorite brand new newborn baby hacks and tips and he even joined us for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.